Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I wanted to share some of the things that I got from local yard sales yesterday, an estate sale, a couple charity shops. Uh, it was a crazy, crazy day of buying and buying and buying and such great deals and such cool stuff. So I wanted to share it with you and show you what I got. So I'm going to try and remember where I got everything and I'll tell you and I'll try and remember the prices. Not everything was priced. So I'll try and remember some, a lot of stuff was bundled. I bundled a lot. So it's kind of guessing on some things what they were charging for things. Okay, first thing we have here is a couple of old bottles, 25 cents and 50 cents for those. I like those in vignettes and things like that. Just old bottles are so cool. Um, have history to them, so it's pretty neat. Got a sign. Those came from a yard sale, by the way. See, I'm already messing up first item. Okay, so this is a hot bath sign, $2.00 yard sale this is the sweetest little piggy little primitive little pig he's got a leather squiggly tail and ears and he was four dollars a state sale um a state sale i think and i think i paid ten no, this was yard sale and it was around 10. It was either five or 10. I can't remember, but probably 10. This cute little rooster. This was a state sale. Got that. Same place as the little piggy. This came from the free area at my dump. I forgot to add that in the beginning that I do have a few things from there. A little flower frog and a cute little green vase or bowl that goes with it so you can put your flowers in there and they'll stay up and look pretty so i grabbed that i think that's probably vintage i don't know but it kind of looks and feels like it some mason jar salt and pepper shakers very cute two dollars at a yard sale and a little green or blue bluish green a vase or crock I think a yard sale, $1 or $2 or something. Got this cool light. Where did I get this? Estate sale, I believe. It's a little metal candle holder. It's got a plug-in, so it can turn on. We did check it. The bulb works. The light works. I think I'm going to replace this with a silicone bulb. And I may have a glass uh, hurricane um, shade that will go on this. But if not, I'll just put some pit berries around it or something and that'll look just fine. A very prim, prim little guy there. And $4, I think I paid for that. I got these at the free area at my dump. We have, if you weren't, if you don't know, we have a shed that they just put in a year or so ago. And they have tables in there. And if there's stuff that you bring to the dump that you don't want, but it's still good, and maybe somebody else might want it. There's tables, you can put them on the tables. And we used to have it outside, so this is so much better. And um, it's it's nice and covered. So And they had it open all through the winter time, and it worked really well. So I hope they do it next winter too. So that worked very well. Okay, um, charity shop, little star primitive hanger. The star cut out with the chicken wire. It's got a little primitive tag on it. Some pit berries. <clears throat> I've got this box of stars. Comes the black, the, the stacking boxes, the mustard, <clears throat> and the burgundy. Keep your faith plate. I got this at a yard sale. I think 50 cents, a dollar, something like that. A couple of little chicken uh, sugar dish and creamer and very very cute this was 250 at a charity shop these i got at the free area at my local dump just little uh, americana i'm gonna try and just clean these up reshape the shades 
see how they look and I may try and just sell them like this. If not, I may have to paint them something else or kind of make them look a little bit better. Right now they're pretty dirty, they need wash. And I've got different piles around my house of stuff that needs wash and tag and then just can go in the box, whichever tote, because I have two different totes now for two different places where my booths are gonna be. I have a booth at a flea market that I've had for a few years now, about three. And then I have a new booth that's actually a room that I'm trying to get filled up for a mercantile that I'm going to be doing and it's in a different town. So I'm pretty excited about that, but pretty much what I'm down to now is painting. I am putting it off in true Shelley fashion. I just don't want to paint right now. <laughs> I have so much to do, but I really need to get painted. It's not that I don't like to paint. It's just that there's just so much of it that I'm gonna have to just start and just, just do it. Just do like a big paint thing, maybe right here on the island and just get it all done. The next thing I have is this um, banner of the stars and stripes and just all different kinds of stuff. There's actually two of them. I think I'm going to tea stain or coffee dye them. I'm gonna hang them up in one of my booths. I'm not sure which one, <laughs> somewhere. Uh, wooden candle holders, they're very heavy. I think they're homemade, very nice. They have the little hole in the top uh, and very textured. These are super textured. So I think I'm gonna spray them or paint them black and then distress back and get some of that texture to come back through and some of the wood color. I think that's gonna look really good and old. Okay, this corner, corner little shelf. This uh, is a candle holder and it's got the little hook there. You don't find many corner things like that. So I thought for a little prim piece was kind of cute. I got this and that was a dollar. These were $4. The banners were $2, I think. The greenery, $4, got at a the estate sale. Everything that I just showed you was the estate sale. This is yard sale. No, this is charity shop. Uh, black and white material. It's kind of a waffle material. It's got some texture to it. But I think what I'm gonna try and do is tea stain some of it so that I can use it in uh, my primitive decor. I also got this orange checks one. So this was $3 for this bunch. There's a lot of material there. And then this was $1.50, both, like I said, charity shop. This was charity shop pickup, a toolbox. I think I'm gonna just sand it so that it will accept the antique wax or the, the stain that I put on and just stain it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Clean it up and stain it. Okay. This is a folk art box that I got $5 at Charity Shop. A couple of old books, German grammar and something about France. These are both 18 something books. I can't remember, 1891 and I don't know, they're, they're old. So this decanter topper, I like to pick these up because I think they look really pretty in vignettes. So if you had your books up like that and you could just lay that down there and it just makes a really pretty little vignette or if somebody's missing one, they can grab it. It's a nice paperweight. This one's just glass. Um, and this was part of a bundle. So I don't know how much I paid for this or the books. I would say a few dollars for this and maybe five for the two books or something like that. So pretty good deals. Stuff to be painted, this guy. This needs to be painted. It's got a little shelf on it, plain. This was at a yard sale. And then these little shelves, which I think are really cool, all just raw wood. So this needs to have something done to it, whether I paint it, stain it or whatever. Not sure, but they're all working order. Very nice, sturdy little box, love it. So uh, this was part of the bundle with the barometer. So it was about $4, $4, and the barometer was about $4, I'd say, if they were 12. So. Last but not least, I picked up this blanket at a charity shop. It is done from 
or is, is from a local um, place in Franconia, New Hampshire, and it's called Garnet Hill. And they have really high-end, beautiful decor and, um, well, not decor, but bedding and things like that. Maybe they have decor, too. I didn't really look at it, but I was just looking to see if they had this still. I don't see that on there. They may still, but um, I'd say I paid around $15 or $20 for this. Not very much, but it's just gorgeous. Just a gorgeous color. It's going to look great with the um trunk that I just did that I just did a uh a, a cleanup on and just made it look beautiful I put some legs on it if you haven't seen that video I'll put it down in the description box for you to check out but I got so many goodies and I really need to start cleaning and washing and figuring out what I'm painting and what I'm not some of the other things I got was this coal bucket this other crock both $10 each. Got this um, duck. Really pretty wood duck. All those came from the estate sale. I got this rusty old, I don't even know, but it's metal. Not really sure what it is, but I think it's going to look beautiful with some lights in it once I clean it up. I'm not going to change it any, I don't believe. I got, that was at an estate sale. I got that bookcase at an estate sale. That was at the estate sale. This was at charity shop. Don't know if I can see if you can see what that looks like. It's turned around. This wood box was at a charity shop my daughter picked up for me. So I have another one of these with those old handles on them. And it's really cool. Look at that. So that's going to be good to redo. Look at all the wear right there. Like somebody set something there every day. Um, what else do I have? There's a stand with a lamp. There's um, like a three-tiered stand there. This is a stool. And then here's another little little stand with a couple of shelves on it. Everything needs to be sanded, painted, cleaned. Um, lots of stuff. But this was all from yesterday. My truck was loaded. So I'm gonna get started with that and I'll leave you guys here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Mark your calendars for this Saturday, June 1st at 7 p.m. is when it starts. We have a wonderful, rustic, primitive, rusty collaboration that is going to happen with a ton of wonderful, creative people. So make sure that you mark your calendars and check it out starting 7 p.m. Eastern on June 1st. See you there.